Super Vic State Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Tom Albert. We got Alec Echo, Megan Self, and Rest of Cat Crew. Today's game we got And today's game we got Frontier versus uh, Greenfield. So it'll be uh, Tyler Bernoski on the mound and he's facing David Carey who will be pitching as well for Greenfield, so. Dave Carey walks. So men on first no outs and batter's going to be Tyler Kucheski. Bernowski's going to try to pick off a attempt. So one gun is Tyler Kucheski, grounds out to shortstop, uh, but moves the runner, David Carey, over to second. And the batter is going to be Doobie. Pitch going to be high for a ball. Counts now two and one. Comes the pitch, swing and a strike. So evens up the count. Or never mind. So it's a full count. Comes the pitch. Comes the pitch. And that's strike three called, so two gone. No, he was not. Grounder to shortstop. Takes a nice hop. Gets it over to first. Comes off the back, but tags him. Way to stay with it. Yeah. So short stop at first. And so with one walk, uh, that'll end th three straight out after the walk. And we'll go to the bottom of the first. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Host is Tom Albert, Alan Geckel, Megan Self, and the rest of the FCAT crew. Uh, David Chair is going to be on the mound for Greenfield, and the batter is going to be Tyler Dubrio. Comes the pitch, going to be in there for strike one. And a swing, strike two. Nice level swing. So two strikes on. And a, just a pop back to first. So. And so one gone in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up Tyler Bernowski and that mono e mono I like to call it. Pitcher versus pitcher. And carry the pitch. Low in the dirt for ball one. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, holds up. And that actually looked ball. like he went, though. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised they didn't peel it down the first baseline. So, two balls on him. Could be in there for a strike. Another one in there for a strike, so it evens up to count two and two now. So Bernaski's going to have to attack. Swing and strike three, they drop. They drop the ball, though, and they get over for the first. So you got you to gotta hate when that happens, though. You get halfway through a swing, and you second guess if you should swing or not, and that happens. Yep. So... Two outs, and the batter's going to be Kevin Bauman, and it's going to be in there for a strike. Grounder third gets through, so Kevin Bauman will reach first base. Beautiful effort by the third baseman, though, trying to like, knock it down and keep it in front. Then 
Winter, they like to have t two out rallies usually, so we'll see if that happens here. I wouldn't be surprised with two outs if we see the runner in first going. Yeah. Probably will steal at some point, but, uh, Skrbisky, William Skrbisky Bannock is the batter now. Nice throw back to the bag. And carry the pitch. It's going to be a foul tip out of play. And into the woods. <laughs> I bet you they could. Over a thousand balls are in that woods. Yeah. There's a lot back there. So, 0-2 count. count. Big lead off at first. Swing, strike three, and he'll be out. He had such a good lead off at first, I'm surprised they didn't send him. So that'll do it for the first inning. And score 0-0 zero, zero after one. We're watching Frontier Community Access Double. Hello and welcome back to Frenchy Communications Delvin. Tom Alper, Al Al Echol, uh, Megan Self, Mr. Epcat Crew. So the count's own two on MJ Pollen and he rips one to right field. Beautiful hit. Nice single. Let's see what they can do. Yep. And the batter's going to be the Bolt. And a swing strike one. And comes definitely a little high, but when you get those highest ones, you want to swing on them. Oh, yeah, because it's those high ones that are going to go. Beautiful bond. Beautiful bond. Bernoski will throw it over to first, so sacrifice, sacrifice bun works. Moves uh, MJ Pollen over to second, and TJ Vault will be out at first. So, man on second, one out, and the batter is Petrin. Mm. 
Never strike. So counts one and one. <laughs> Decent lead off the second. Good job keeping his eye on that runner on second. Yeah. He definitely wants. He's definitely attempting to go for third. Yeah. Oh, nice hit into right field. That one's going to drop, so MJ's going to get waved home. Or no, he'll hold up at third. So good job by Kevin Bellman getting in quickly. Just inside that line, too. I'm actually surprised that they held him up on third. Yeah. I thought they were going to send him, but they, he would have definitely... It would have been close. Yeah. By the, ti by the time he was about to turn third, the ball was halfway in. It would have been a close play at home. Yep. <laughs> and Coach Williams is out there to talk to his players, see what they'll do with first and third and with one out. So we're going to take a quick break. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome back. So we'll see what happens here. One gone man on first and third. As Petron will probably steal second here at some point. Ball's going to be in the dirt for ball one. And the batter is Podolowski. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we see him pitching a lot lower, like keeping the pitches lower, trying to make it so he grounds in to a double play. Yeah. It's going to even up the count one and one now. Shows Bun, he goes. Good idea. Yep. Would have been the suicide squeeze. So, one and two count. He probably will not bunt now. No, he wouldn't bunt here because if it would go for oh, all. He, he does. Out. So he gets the job done. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, interesting. Yeah, especially with two strikes. You don't normally see that, so an RBI for Pedal. Uh, Podolowski. So two outs, man on second. And the batter is Campbell. That's ball low. And in there for strike one. So count ends it up, one and one now. Janoski, grounder, going to go up to second, and that will end the inning, so damage done, scores now 1-0, to zero, and we will go to the bottom of the second inning. You are watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Foul ball to play as Alex Kuczynski is the batter. So no one one count, carry the pitch. And there for strike two. And carry the pitch. It's going to be a pop-up to right field and going to go out of play. Or it was in play, but couldn't get to it. Yeah. And so still no two count. Care to pitch once more. Fires in, ball one low. And here comes the pitch. Ooh. Strike. Oh. Catcher interfered, so he'll go the first yeah. there. That's something you don't see every day no. either. And it looked like the catcher is shaking up on that too. He's walking towards the bench. So, so catcher interference and Gochinski will reach first. I think it hit him in the. In he, the it, hand. It, either the throwing hand or the catching hand, because he has his batting glove off. So I believe it would be his catching hand. Yeah. So, but that's funny. We seen a bunt on two strikes, and we seen catcher interference this game, and that's something you don't see often. Nope. I don't, uh, don't think he'll be continuing the way it's looking. No. So we'll take the break on this, and we'll be back.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. So MJ Poland was at first base. He went to catch at the left fielder. Uh, Petrin, he went to first base. Cool. And they brought in John Marchifica <laughs> for uh, uh, Trevor Chesky. Was injured on the catcher interference. So, the batter is, I think it's Shane Prusak, I'll have to check on that. Yep, Shane Prusak. So, two strikes on him. And goes that play, so you advance on that. Yep. Alex Gochinski is gonna be at second now with no outs. So now a base hit could score the runner at second. Yep. And foul tip, so Shane stays alive. You can see that he's trying to, if he does hit it on the ground, he wants to hit it down the third baseline so that runner on second can advance to third. Yeah, yeah. And carry the pitch. Give me second now. Ooh, throw over. And Gochinski will steal third, so. That was a very wild pitch. Yep. Count is one and two. And the tying run is now 90 feet away. Foul ball gonna go out of play into the woods. Good job by Shane stay for staying alive here. The more pitches that he throws, the harder it's gonna be on the pitcher, the longer it gets in this game. And Another one goes foul, so. I think he just got out in front of that one. Yep. And carry the pitch. Ooh, Ooh hit him in the shoulder. The hand, actually. The hand. So, now I'm in on first and third. No, I don't think they're giving it to him. I think they're saying that it didn't hit him. Yeah, oh. it hit him. <laughs> he had to argue that, though. Yeah. I'm surprised on that. 
So Shane Presack reaches first. I don't know if the ump, the home home ump, believed that it hit the bat or not, but. Yeah, I mean it, it did deflect off of him, so I don't I don't really know why there needed to be an argument. I I, I think that what what happened is because it's right at the handle of the bat that uh, he could have believed that it got the end of the bat. Yeah. And the batter is going to be Sammy Schreiber. And there goes the runner from first to second, and he'll be there standing up. Yep. So now I'm in on first, uh, second and third. And go ahead, runs second now. Swinging strike. A base hit here could score two. And counts one and one. Shows a bunt. Oh, diving nice, catch. Nice effort there from the replacement catcher to try and dive to catch that. He just about a glove width away from that one. Yeah. It's going to make the count one and two now, though. comes the pitch. Rounder goes to second, so one run will score. And an RBI for Sammy Schreiber. And he'll be okay with that, even though he didn't get the base hit. You know, he did his job. He got the runner in from third and advanced the runner from second to third. Yep. Making it so a routine pop out to the outfield could get a sacrifice fly. Yep, so score is one to one. And the bat is going to be in Ian Spearance. With one gone. Shows Bun, pulls it back, and Prusak will score standing up. Max, now Frontier leads 2-1. to one. Hopefully the pitcher can shake that off. Yep. He's had a couple wild pitches here. Counts one and up. Fouled sip. Evens up the count one and one now. Carry two pitch. Oh, it's going to be in there for a strike two. Beautiful pitch. Right at the knees. And here comes the pitch. Strike three called, looking, so. That was a nice pitch. I'm surprised he didn't swing. So, strike out looking, and the batter's gonna be Dylan Martin. It'll pop up. And no one catches it, so it's gonna, he's gonna drop. He was in fair territory when he touched it, so we'll call it fair. Yep. Even though the ball was in foul territory, he touched it when he was in fair, so. Yeah, and Dillmarn gets a double out of that. Just barely diving in there. And that'll bring up top of the order. So, that is Tyler DeBriel, and he grounded up to the pitcher who's left at bat. So, man on second, two outs, and Beautiful eye on that one. It was a ball. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, hard hit ball. Beautiful. Left field. Beautiful. And that's rolling, 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 and that will be ro almost near the cart path yep. on that one. That, that's that's, that's going to be in. a home run, yep. That's inside. That wow. Beautiful. What a beautiful <laughs> swing. Yep. Nice level. Kept, kept his eyes on that ball, and it was gone. So a two-run home run for Tyler DeBriel inside the park. That thing was almost on a cart path. <laughs> yep. I think that's actually the longest ball that we've seen hit yeah. here this year. And that's going to bring up Tyler Bernowski. And the score is now 4-1. to Frontier with the three-run lead. It is an 0-1 count already, I believe. Or 1-0. Yep. And another ball in there. So it would be two balls. So... 2-0 count for Brenoski and that pit mono -y mono I like to call it. What did he do last at bat? Did he get a base hit? Uh, his last at bat, he struck out swing. So I'm sure he would like to join the hit club yep. with a lot of the other people. It looks like Greenfield coach will come out to talk to the pitcher. And he does not look happy. Nope, so they're, they're going to take a quick break. So we'll be watching Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Pop up, gonna go to the left field, and he's gonna make the catch. So damage is done. Score is now four to one, and we will go to the top of the third inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Human Access Television. Tom Over, Al Gecko, Megan Self. Hard hit ball, center field, and a nice catch there. As David Carey flies out to center field. So one gone in the top top of the third. And John Marcia Fulick <laughs> is now the batter. <laughs> so we'll just say John. John M. And foul tip. Was that a play? Good good uh, cut on that swing though. Yep. Just didn't get enough of the ball. Oh, it would count. Ooh. Hard hit ball goes foul. No question on that one. <laughs> and so two strikes on him now. Anything close, he will be swinging. I wonder if we'll see a curveball here. And strike three. Two up, two down now. And the batter will be Doobie. <laughs> and there for strike one, as it was inside on the outside corner. Swing that one, and that'll end it. Then the top of the inning as a fly out to right field. So three up, three down. Another great inning. Yep, we will go to the uh, bottom of the third inning, and Frontier leads four to one. You're watching Frontier Communications Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Communications Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, Megan Self, Left Cat Crew, and Kevin Bowman's going to be the batter, and that one's going to be in there for a strike. And strike two. First baseman, he'll flip it to the first or the pitcher, and that'll be one out. That'll bring up uh, Liam Skrbisky Bannock, who his last at bat he had a strikeout swing. That one's gonna be a foul tip out of play.
and carried to pitch. That one's going to be in the in for a strike. Low and inside, though. He definitely hesitated. He wanted it at first, and then could tell he didn't. And that'll be strike three. So two up, two down as Krubisky Bannock strikes out. And that'll bring up Alex Gochinski, who his last at bat, he reached because of a catcher interference and he scored a run. So we'll see what he can do here. Hard at ball. Ooh. Nice stop by. Beautiful play by the yeah. first baseman. Beautiful yep. dive and stop and got up quick enough to bring it back to himself for an unassisted play. Yep, so three up, three down on both sides. And that will end the third inning. And we'll go to the top of the fourth. You're watching Frontier. It scores four to one. You're watching Frontier. Give me access to Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Uh, Scores four to one. Frontier leading by three over Greenfield, and it is the top of the fourth inning. And Pierce is the batter. His last at bat, he grounded out to shortstop. Gonna be in there for a ball. Ooh, hard hit ball. Right Beautiful field. Catch nice too. catch. So fly out to Kevin Bauman. Right who had an amazing read on that ball. Be able to get to it. A little confusion there. The batter thought that he didn't catch it. <laughs> Standing out first. Definitely will be happy with that, even though it was caught, because it was a beautiful contact off that bat. Yep. And the bat is going to be NJ Pollen. And look at that. Another beautiful contact right in the gap, dead center. He's rounding he is, second. Yep. But, oh. oh. Yeah, he would have he would have been out at third. He, he did. It was a good job by him by stopping at second. So, double there for Paul, MJ Pollen. I saw him round that and hesitate <laughs> around that, and I knew as soon as you saw that hesitation, yeah. you knew that he, if he did continue going, he would have been out. Yep. If he, if I don't think if he hesitated, he would have been. It would have been as close if he kept going. No. And, and that one's gonna be in there for a strike. Batter's gonna be T.J. with the ball. 
gonna be blowing outside. Oh, look at that lead. <laughs> yep, he'll throw it over. <laughs> That's gutsy. Yep. And... Bernowski, two pitch. Uh, foul ball gonna go out of play. There's another big lead off a second. Rounder to shortstop. He'll throw it over to first. And that'll be two outs. So man on third as MJ reaches third. And Petrin will be the batter. Beautiful pitch, right up high a little for a strike. That would be a foul ball out of play for another strike, so it would be 0-2. Oh, it's going to be Jack Petrin. That's a ball. Outside. Count is one and two. And Bernaski the pitch. High swing. Gonna go over to shortstop. A bobble. That is always one of the hardest plays is when multiple fielders other than yourself is charging the ball. You're trying to question who's gonna actually go for it. And that bounce didn't help. And it would have been close either way because he would have had to throw it across his body to make it the first with the momentum he had from running. So the bat will be Podolowski. And the first pitch I believe is a ball. He'll throw it over to first. One and one. And Bernowski the pitch. So it's going to hit the dirt. Nice stop by the catcher to hold the runner at first, though. I just realized the batter has red and blue batting gloves on. Oh. Well, That's over us. <laughs> so that will even up the count 2-2 two -two now. Bernoski, two pitch. And that one's going to be low and outside. The runner on second, or first, is going to be going going immediately with a full count and two outs. Yep. Oh, that's dropping. That's, drops in there for a hit. And beautiful looper to right field to advance the runner from first to third. He had a good uh, jump with the full count and two outs. Yeah, so two outs, man on first and third now. And the batter is going to be Campbell.
Count. Count's going to be one and one. And here comes the pitch. Hard at ball. Over to second. And they'll throw it out of first for the out. So, one run will score. And the score is now four to two. And Frontier with two run lead. You're watching Frontier Community Access Open. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Gymnastics Television. And Shane Prusak the batter, and that one gets in there for a strike. So an 0 1 count, and carry to pitch. Ooh, foul tip. And Shane's last at bat. He's a little early on that one, too, though. Yep. And yeah, Shane's last at bat, he was hit by pitch, and it was a long at bat. So two strikes on him now. Ooh, and that almost got him. Yep. So one and two count for Prusak. Carry to pitch. Strike three swinging. And they get him out. That wasn't a nice swing, but. So one down and the batter's Sam Schreiber. Carry the pitch, shows bun, pulls it back. So no one one count, or one and no count, excuse me. So carry the pitch. Ball outside. And carry the pitch. In there for strike one. Two and one count now. Grounder and Ooh. bobble by the second baseman, so Schreiber will, will reach first. So second baseman uh, had trouble when it got to him. It took a weird bounce and wasn't able to take it off the bounce. But he stayed with it, kept it in front of him, and held him to at least only getting one bag. Pickoff attempt. Very close. Yep. And the batter will be Ian Spearance. His last at bat, he struck out looking. And that'll be strike one. So 
so one gone man on first almost got him again that's too close for comfort in my eyes yeah Schreiber's gonna steal, and it, oh, he's he just got under. Yep. He just got underneath him. the catcher to keep that in front of him with that ball being in the dirt. So, counts could be one and two. Pick off attempt again. He's and another close one. Yeah. He's just getting in there. It's a good pick off move by Carey. Bumped cleaning off the second base. And carry the pitch. Foul tip staying alive. Just a little early it looked like on that swing. Sprint strikes out. Looking. Looking. And the batter really deal Dylan Martin. His last at bat he had a Ooh. Uh, a double. Ooh. The pickoff throw ends up hitting the base runner in the back. That has to hurt. And that's why they teach you when you dive back in the second base, you always want to be looking into the outfield. Yep. I think one time I, I dove in the second and I kind of was looking right at the base and it hit me in the side of the head, so. And carry the pitch. Grounder to sh shortstop. They'll th throw it over to First for the out. So Martin moves the runner. It's actually oh, three it, outs. It will be three outs, yeah. I was, I was wondering what was going on. So We're not the only ones that got confused <laughs> on that one. Yeah. That will end the fourth inning. We will go to the top of the fifth. Score is four to two. Frontier leads by two. Uh, you're watching Brent 2 Kimi Axis Delvin.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Commander's Television. It is the top of the fifth inning. The score is four to two. Frontier leading. The count's zero and one. It's zero and one, and David Carey is up. Ooh. So he stopped by the catcher though, and it's now two and zero. That was in there for a strike. Uh, carries last two at bats. He's walked and he's flown out to the center field. <coughs> Bernoski, two pitch, and strike two there. Swing. Evens up the count, two and two now. Oh, never mind, it was a four count, so he walks him. Carry with two walks on the, on the night. And this is what Greenfield needs. They need to pick their pitches, not swing at bad pitches, because they need as many base runners as possible right now. And that's going to bring up John M. Shows a bunt, bunts back to the pitcher. Oh, over for a second base. Really, some, someone said to go to second. He really should have gone to first. It's it's that throw the second for the pitcher <laughs> on a bunt like that. It's harder. So I'm surprised he didn't throw the first because the routine is for the pitcher. If the pitcher gets it, is to throw it the first, you let them get the second. Yeah. Kronoski. Throws it in there, and it's going to be a, a ball one in the dirt. It would be interesting to see what Greenfield ha having runners on, what they end up doing. Yep. Shows bunt, and he's going to pull it back. So, two o two o count. Ooh. He almost had that runner on second. Yeah. Shows Bunt, Brunoski will throw it over to third for the out. Way to get the lead runner on that. Yeah. Nice, nice uh, Bunt, too. Yep, so. Just a little too much distance on it. And that will bring up Michael Pierce. Swings at a high one. <coughs> it's always hard to lay off the high pitches. Ooh. And now it's going to go in a foul. Ooh, could it have uh, It bounced tree. off two trees yeah. in the process of going foul. The trees have saved some cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like it was going to hit a car. The tree stopped it, so. Oh, two count now. And one gone on the man <laughs> on the second first. I guess it was a little low. The greenfield batter is definitely making our Frontiers pitcher work right now. Yep. Fly ball right field, so. And there's the throw. Ooh. And he gets in the third on that one. So, sacrifice fly the right to advance the runner from second to third. It will be two outs. And that's going to bring up MJ Pollen, who is two for two on the night. He has a hit to right field, and a score to run, and has a double, so... Martin calls up the play because it's first and third. Let's see what they do. The tire run is on first also. <laughs> I 
Janowski, man, that one's a little high. Throws it over to first for the pickoff attempt. And Bernowski to pitch. Foul ball going to go out of play. Car. Bounces, I don't know if it is car or not. It bounced high too. <laughs> no. Probably at the pavement. And now it's one and one, now it's two and one. Another pickoff attempt at first. I'm waiting for the game that we see a pickoff actually be successful. We haven't seen one this Ooh. year yet. Another hard hit ball, center field, left field going to catch it. Beautiful catch by the left fielder to get the third out. Leaves the runner on third and first. And we will go to the uh, bottom of the fifth inning. Scores 4-2, uh, Frontier leading. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Eckel, Megan Self, and the rest of the FCAT crew. Uh, score is still 4-2. to two, And the batter is going to be Tyler DeBrio. Last, his last at-bat, he had a huge two-run home run is inside the park, but there's really no outside the park. There is no outside park here, unless you hit it over the softball field, and uh, if you do that, you got some power in your swing. <laughs> <laughs> Count's going to be one and one, carry to pitch. Yeah, that one's a foul sip. So two strikes on him now. He'll be looking for a close pitch to defend off. One and two. Oh, that's through the middle. Yep. Nice base hit. 
Um, so. Tyler, uh, Tyler DeBrio reaches. Get the hit. And it's going to bring up Tyler Bernoski. And he is over two on the night. So you can change that here. And that one's in there for a strike. Oof, almost got him. That was close. Yeah. Oh. There, you yeah, got, got, got him that time. Beautiful. Beautiful pickoff. Yep. Just about time. Sitting here this game seeing how many were close it was only about time that someone would get and get picked off yes, no. now one gone <laughs> and Bernaski's the batter high, uh, high for a pitch so ball one it's gonna be one and one It's going to be in there for a strike a little low, though. So, one and two. That one's going to be in the dirt. So, two and two, not counting up. Another wild pitch, though, that he has to worry you a little getting close to the end of this one. Ooh, it hit him. Yep, so. <laughs> I think they're going to try and say it was a foul because he swung. And in the process, he broke the plane. No, I guess not. So... I think that's what they were trying to say, though, that he broke the plane, so it didn't count. Yep. So Bernowski reaches first as he was hit by a pitch. And that's another That's another one that they tried to not call it a hit pitch. Yeah. And, ooh, a line drive gets past the second baseman. As Bauman. Oh, he struggles with it too. I'm surprised the runner on second didn't proceed to go to third. Yep, so. <laughs> so, that is gonna, our pinch hitter is gonna be Ethan Bryant for Risky Banner. Yeah, that one's going to be in there for a strike. One gone, man on second and first. Oof. Swung on that one, so only two count. He's got to protect now. Uh, strike three called. That is not what you want in a European hitter. Nope. But three straight strikes and batter is now going to be Alex Kuczynski. Foul ball, or That's pop up for... So pop out, and that will end uh, the fifth inning. So we'll go to the top of the sixth inning. The score is still 4-2. to two. Frontier leads. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
and welcome back to Frontier Communications Television. Tom Albert, Alan Keckle, Megan Self, and Edmund. So... Batter's gonna be TJ Thabont. Top of the sixth inning, so Greenfield to, down to their last six outs. Their lives. That one's going to be in there for a strike. The low outside corner. He's picking up a lot of good strike calls this game. Yep. He's going to high for a ball. As I jinx him. <laughs> <laughs> so counts one and one. And Bernowski to pitch. That one's going to be in there for a strike. That was a beautiful pitch. And there'll be timeout called. Catcher trying to adjust his glove. It looks like he's going to take a pitch or two to make sure he's all set. And it looks like we're good to continue. Yep. So, Renowski to pitch. Curveball. Just got on top of that one to foul it off. Wonder if we'll see another curveball here. Nope, fastball. And foul ball to play to the woods. Once again. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll see your curveball now. Yeah. Down, I would say down and in the dirt. So, one and two count. And Bernowski the pitch. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> two and two count now. Strike three swinging. And so one up, one down. And Greenfield now down to five more lives. So the batter's going to be Jack Petrin. That, that hits hit him. Yep. That had that got him right on the elbow. That had to hurt. Yeah. That's the first batter of Greenfield's who has been hit today. Yep. It's going to bring up uh, Portoloski. He had uh, that blooper to right, I believe, to yeah. advance the runner last time. Yep. So I wouldn't be surprised if he does something like that again. It's going to be in there for a ball. Pickoff attempt. No good. And Bernowski to pitch. Hard hit ball right field. And Bauman's going to get catch that one. So two gone now. That ball just died off the bat. Good contact. Just couldn't. It just died in the process of leaving the bat. So the batter is going to be Jackson Campbell. Tyler to pitch. It's going to be high for a ball. And hard hit ball. Goes over to second and he'll flip it over to first. So that'll end the top of the six and Greenfield down to their last three lives. Um, so, we'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Score is still 4-2. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television at the top of the six bottom of the six and that will be a foul ball So it would be a 0 and 1 frontier up to bat and also up 4 to 2. Pitch to right field and caught by the center fielder. So it would be one out. Pitch. Strike as he swings at a low ball. Strike two as he also couldn't pull back. So it'd be 0 and 2 with one out. No one on. Good eye as it's a ball, so now it would be one and two. Ground ball, the first. As the first baseman takes it for an unassisted out. So now it will be two outs in the bottom of the six. And back with me is Tom. Out. <laughs> Beautiful strike down low. Strike two. O oh and two. You'll be swinging at anything close to the zone. It's going to be blow for a ball. And the count's one and two. Carry to deliver. And a good job by Spearns protecting there. Definitely with two outs, he's going to be swinging at anything that's close to the zone. Yep. And hit some. That got him. So a lot of hit batters. Or hit by pitchers. At least this one isn't having to be argued about. Yep. <laughs> that was definite. So batter's now going to be Dylan Martin. So it'll be two outs with a run around first. Dylan doubled in the second and got it up to short in the f fourth. E, that was a close call. I don't know if I agree with that one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I missed it. And fly ball center field. That'll end the sixth inning. So we'll go to the top of the seventh, and Greenfield needs two runs to tie it up at least. So you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Scores 4-2 to two Frontier lead.
Welcome back to Frontier Commanders Television. Well, well. <coughs> and Greenfield's down to the last three at or that last three lives. Nice if cut. If I was the Greenfield coach, I'd be telling his players that they we gotta swing at what's in the zone, nothing outside the zone. Yep. Work the count. And a pop up, so and that's a short stop too that got that one. So one gone. Well, is David? Is it David Carey? Pops up to the short stop. That will bring. Go ahead. It's the same pitcher for Frontier as it has been. Yep. And he's only got to get two more out, so. And it will be a complete game for him. Batter's John M. Pop up, or kind of a line drive to third base, and that will be two outs. And it looked like it caught him on the inner part of the bat near the handle. And that's why it didn't travel so well. Yeah, you never want it. It always hurts when you get in there, too. Yeah. So, one more live for Greenfield. He's going to get in there for a strike, and the batter's doobie. The ball outside. Good eye by him. Be a ball, maybe a little outside. Oh, Foul ball out of play. So two and two count. Bernoski to pitch. Oh, a little outside, I guess. Good eye by the Greenfield batter, though. <coughs> Definitely making him work, and he's going to make him work to get this final out. Same ball four, so he walks him. So the tying run comes to the plate. It brings up Michael Pierce. He's flown out to right field twice and he's grounded shorts up, so he's got to get something going here. I got to say, though, even though Greenfield's down, they have been playing a good game. Yeah. They just haven't been able to get the hits that they need to advance the runners to score. Pick, the, pick off a time found successful. And we'll see if Pierce can. It's going to be blooper to short, and so that will do it. And so, final score, 4-2. to two. Frontier pulls off the win, and Tyler Bonowski pitches a um, complete game. And we, we have on our next... Uh, live stream or recording will be on Monday the 16th. It will be uh, boys volleyball. <coughs> and that's actually senior night too. Senior night. So, for the final time, 4-2. to two. It's been Tom Albert, uh, Alec Eckel, and Megan Self, and Edmund. You've watched <laughs> you've watched Frontier Community Access Television.